Hello there. So you may have noticed that desktop computers are big, bulky, noisy, power hungry and expensive. You may not be aware that there is such a thing as a mini PC and a company called Pepper Jobs has sent me their mini PC. They're not paying me for this review. They've just sent me this and I'm going to review it for you because I think actually this is a decent piece of tech. And I'm going to leave a link to this down below. Don't make any commission from the sales from this. So, you know, this is a genuine review. You can trust what I'm going to say. So I've got the mini PC here. It's this tiny little box. And believe it or not, the most amazing thing about this, and the reason I agreed to review this, is because unlike every other mini PC that I've seen before, which is actually just a little Android device, this runs Windows 10, a full version of Windows 10. So this is, I know I'm repeating myself, but this is a Windows 10 computer. This is, look at it, it's absolutely tiny. In fact, I am holding it with a few fingers on one hand. And before we even get into the technical specs of this, that obviously makes this, believe it or not, portable, your own portable Windows 10 computer that you could take on holiday with you, plug into the television and wherever you're staying. But one of the main features advertised by Pepper Jobs for this mini PC is as a media PC. You can actually play 4K video from this media PC. So you can plug this into your television, put all your high quality video files on here, or 4K Netflix or whatever you've got, and you can watch your videos in glorious ultra high definition. But not only that, and I feel like I'm gonna be saying this quite a lot, you can actually run three screens from this device. If you actually look on the back here, there's like a, what looks to be a, a mini display port, an HDMI port, USB-C ports, I'll go through the ports in detail, by plugging something into each of those, you can actually power three separate screens, which I don't think I can even do from my desktop computer. Now this is actually powered by a 12 volt supply, and a typical desktop computer is as much as sort of 800 watts. Okay, admittedly, those computers are extremely powerful and you can run the latest up-to-date games. You're not going to be able to do that with this. This isn't a gaming computer. You'll be able to play some games because it has got a GPU. It's got a fair amount of RAM. Its main purpose is going to be as a media center and also for just day-to-day -day computing activities like writing Word documents and sending emails. I remember going into our local computer shop 10, 15 years ago and hearing people buying their first ever computer and you know they really didn't know what they wanted to use it for and they were sold the latest greatest one for sending emails and going on the internet. Well, you know, that's all most people do, isn't it? And if that's all you need to do, why do you need to spend two grand on a top of the range computer when you can spend, I think it's about 250 pounds for this. I mean, it really is exceptionally cheap to have a full Windows computer. Now this has actually got built in, I think it's called EC storage, I better just check. Yeah, that's correct, 64 gigs of EC storage, so it's a kind of solid state storage. And there are actually expansion ports on the bottom here where you can install certain types of solid state drive. So if 64 gigs isn't enough for you, stick a new one in. And obviously you've got your USB-C and your USB 3 ports, so you can plug in a portable hard drive if that's what something that interests you. Let's quickly go over the array of ports and things. So firstly, we've got the power button, which is on the side here. We've got a little micro SD port. We've got a couple of USB 3 ports, a USB-C port, a microphone and headphone jack, another USB-C port. I believe one of these um, can actually be used to power the device. So you can either power it by a 12 volt DC supply or you can actually power it by USB-C. There's an HDMI port here, a what I think is a mini display port, um, an ethernet port and the power input. And on the side here, we've got, I think what must be uh, a reset switch and also a symbol of a lock because you can buy those little sort of desktop locks so you can lock it to your desk or whatever so it doesn't get stolen. So because of the solid state drive in the device, it does actually boot up in next to no time. And when it starts, you are confronted by a fully functional Windows 10 operating system. 
but how are you going to control it? Well, you can just plug a USB keyboard into one of the USB ports, USB keyboard and mouse if you like. Pepper Jobs have also sent me their W10 Gyro Smart Media Remote Control. And this little box here looks like this, little media remote control um, with a full keyboard on one side and then lots of sort of shortcut things like search, close, refresh and play and stop and things on this side and your little cursors as well and also a little button to actually turn the device off which is pretty good um, but the really cool thing about this is that it's got a gyro cursor so you just press the little cursor button on it and then by doing this you can actually control the position of the cursor on the screen and it's a really good idea because this is much more portable, much easier to store and carry around with you if you're going to take this on holiday with you than a full-sized keyboard, isn't it? And the keyboard is actually backlit as well, uh, which you will know if you are somebody who uses a computer or watches TV in the dark is a real pain in the bottom when it comes to standard keyboards because you can't see the keys. So this is backlit and these buttons are also programmable as well so you can make these into shortcut buttons to do your favorite activities and it's even got IR training. So you could train one of the buttons to turn on your television for instance. So let's see what 4K video plays like using this device. And you can see it is exceptionally smooth. Um, this is a video from my YouTube channel, no playback issues at all. So you could definitely use this to watch a film or watch YouTube and you've got a really convenient way of playing videos. Now there is a small caveat I want to make by default this comes with four gigs of ram you need to upgrade it really very easily by unscrewing this and putting in another four gigs of ram so it's eight in total if you want to be able to play videos really smoothly really makes this machine something else and you know four gigs of the kind of ram this takes isn't that expensive i should also say now i've spotted the ethernet port you know they are civilized it's got wi-fi so as I say, not paid for this review, but I was sent this and I'm going to be using it all the time because it's a Windows 10 machine in a tiny little box. It's really good value and uh, I'm kind of wondering whether or not I can get rid of my massive desktop machine now and just have this beautiful little device in its place. Anyway, going to leave a link to this and the gyro um, keyboard down below. Check them out. If you're interested, no pressure. This is just an informative review. This channel contains a huge variety of uh, topics, not just Lego reviews. So if you do subscribe, don't be surprised if the next video is about cheese. I'll leave a link to my Patreon down below. There's also some channel membership tiers if you're interested. And if you pledge more than $10 to my channel, I will read your name out. So the following people, Zachary Van Dyke, Damian Mellor, David Robinson, Paul Cotter, and Magnanimous Meg. Thank you very much for your kind pledges. The $5 tier gives you early access, a week's early access to each video that I upload. Thanks for watching this video. Check this out if you're interested. Uh, I'm going to flap my arms for a bit. See you next time for another video. Bye.